welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little bit different it is nothing to do with hair beauty or anything like that this is actually like um a bit of a story time and it is about talking about the medication terbinafine or lamzil like a lot of americans quite to call it we call it terbinafine terbinafine here um so yeah so i almost an odd about doing this video because I thought do I want to broadcast all my medical issues on the world wide web but I thought no I'm going to do it because this might help somebody so let me begin this might be a bit of a long one but I'll try to make it as fast as possible and I'll tell you how I got to having foot issues in the first place so basically um, last year I went to get a pedicure um, I was going to on holiday and I didn't have time, I just moved house and I didn't have time to go to my normal pedicurist where I used to live because I was like really rushing work and packing and etc etc so I went somewhere local to where I live I didn't think anything could go wrong but uh, yeah so I went somewhere local and um, I had a pedicure done uh, didn't think really much too much about it um, and then about four days later I realized on my foot that part of my like I can't explain it like um, say so this is my thumb I realized that this part of my um, sorry so this is my toe I realized this part of my toe was like was coming away from the nail so it's like coming away and away and away from the nail so basically the cuticle and all the skin around my toe was separating so obviously I was like, what the hell is going on? But obviously, you know, I was away on holiday, so I couldn't do much about it. And so I, I just thought, okay, it'll get better, it'll get better. It didn't. It got worse and worse and worse. I waited like, a, like two weeks later, came back, came back from holiday, and this toe was like horrendous. So um, I basically went back to the pedicurist to say, look what you've done to my foot. And she was like, I didn't do your feet. I didn't do your feet. I didn't do your feet. But she did my feet, basically. So, um... The more of the story is, guys, really do not um, run into any old manicure, pedicure place that you don't know um, without checking them out, okay? This is very, very important. But anyway, so after I got back from holiday, I went to my doctor's and showed him my toe. And the doctor was like, ooh, ooh, your toe. Now, you can imagine how bad it looks. If a doctor's like, girl, your toe, um, it was bad, really, really bad. So he put me, he... Gave me some cream, duck court cream, which is this cream here, duck court cream, which is kind of lethal actually. I will speak about this actually. And then he put me, and then he recommended um, terbinafine because he basically told me that I had picked up a nasty nail infection from the pedicurist. He told me that. Okay, so he said you picked up a uh, infection from the pedicurist. He said you've got a bit of a nail infection there, might be a bit of fungus that's gone into your nail bed or your cuticles, and it's like you know. You need to sort it out basically. So um, I was like, okay, I just limped home. And then I did my research because I'm not one to just be taking medication willy nilly. I really, I, I mean, I know it's a bit crazy. I do have a bar in my house, but I really drink. I'm not the kind of person that likes to take lots of medication or anything. Even aspirin, I don't take. So I thought, let me just um, check out this medication. And then when I did, Oh my God, tabinafine, I checked it out. When I checked this medication out, oh Lord Jesus, the things it told you, the side effects were on, off the scale. The side effects are diarrhea, which is okay, stomach pains, rash, hives, loss and, and um, changes in taste or loss of taste, upset stomach, extreme fatigue, depression or changes in mood, chest pain, irregular heartbeat, vomiting, fever, sore throat, um, severe skin rash and liver failure or liver damage. I was like, what now? Say what now? So obviously, I was like, hell no, I'm not taking this. This is going to kill me. This this will kill me before the foot does. So um, I didn't take it, stupidly. I didn't take it. So I thought, okay, I'll just put the cream, the duck court cream, and I won't take the medication. So I did that for about a week. And it seemed to get better. The, the cuticle seemed to seal back to the nail bed but the skin and the nail still look really dodgy so um, within about five days like it spread from 
one foot to the other, can you believe this? From one foot to the other it spread. It went to my skin around my foot, on my toes. It was spreading like wildfire and I was like, oh my God, and I'm so stupid. I was so scared to take this medicine to be anything. I still didn't take it. I thought, okay, the, the cream will do the job. It did, but with this cream, I say it's lethal. It's like a sterile cream. So you can't be using this for weeks and weeks on end. It literally says do not exceed past eight seven eight days and really don't because it thins your skin so i started to itch my skin it was like to bleed it was a mess so one month of me putting stupid cream on my feet when it told you clear plain english do not use it for more than eight days um i was using it for more than eight days so i thought okay i can't cope with this my feet were so horrendous i mean i already have size eight sometimes nine foot the last thing i need is like dodgy crusty toes to boot so i just uh you know, got brave and I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to take the medication. And I took the medication and I was waiting for all these horrible things to happen to me. And absolutely nothing happened. I think the first week I had a bit of a stomach, my stomach didn't like it the first week. But apart from that, um, nothing happened. Um, it pretty much cured my foot uh, problem were cured. It, it calmed it down. It didn't cure it. It calmed it down within like a week. It the, the it stopped spreading. The skin got better really fast. The nails took ages to heal. It's still healing. But um, yeah, so I I was prescribed a three month course of terbinafine to begin with. So you take that. I was recommended to take it in the evening before my meals or with my meals. And then um, I did that for three months and nothing happened. Honestly, it cured my foot. So if you're scared about taking to be anything, I would definitely give it a try. Talk to your doctor if you're concerned about the liver damage and all these crazy things that say are gonna happen to you. It's definitely worth taking it because my feet were not cute and tongue bungle nail infections are notoriously hard to get rid of. But you don't wanna you don't wanna be living with crusty toes and nail infection. It's just not cute. It's just not the one. So I took it for three months, and then after three months, I went back to the doctor. He tested my liver to see if I had any liver damage. I had zero liver, da liver damage um, at all. Uh, and then he prescribed another course for three months. I was like, say what now? But I just took it. I thought, you know, be a good girl, do what the doctor says. So he gave me another three month course of antibiotics. And I actually, um, I'm only going to take five months because my toe does seem kind of good. When I was a doctor, I don't want to take six months of this thing because I don't like taking medication like I said. So yeah, so if you are a bit nervous about taking this medicine, please do take it. I am living proof that your head will not drop off. Um, you will probably be all right. Yes, some few rare people will have side effects, but I think that's quite rare. Um, sometimes when you read things on the internet, um, it can scare you basically so yeah take it do not live with funky crap toenails it's not the one it's not cute especially if you're a girl and please do not run to any old pedicurist or whatever and get your feet done because when I went back to lady to tell her that she messed up my feet she was like I don't do your feet I don't do your feet not even I'm sorry what happened she was like I didn't do your feet I was gonna say I could be suing you right now. I'm just trying to tell you what's happened so you don't do it to somebody else, but whatever. The moral story is make sure you go to somebody that you know, that you trust, and ask questions. Don't be like a British person that doesn't want to offend anybody, doesn't want to upset anybody. Ask questions. Do you sterilize your stuff? How do you clean your stuff? Is that clean? Ask questions because the most precious thing you have in this world is your body. So do not be embarrassed or shy to offend anybody when it comes to your body. Okay, so yes, I know this probably wasn't a very exciting um, video, but I thought it'd be nice because when I, like I said, when I was looking for someone um, to talk about this on YouTube, I didn't find anyone to actually say, look, I took it and I'm not dead. So um, yeah, so thank you for watching. I will try and make my next video a bit more exciting. But um, yeah, have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.